In this video, I will show you how you can start mining Labyrinth. Labyrinth is another GPU mining coin and it uses Kapow algorithm. All the links used in the video you can find in the description of this video. For wallet setup and how to get your wallet address, use the following steps. To find all the pools for this coin, you can use miningpoolstats.stream. GPU mining, for Kapow algorithm you can use for NVIDIA cards T-Rex miner and for AMD cards you can use Team Red miner.
is another new coin and always be careful with these new coins. We don't know which coin will be here tomorrow. Welcome! In today's video I will show you how you can start mining Evermore. Evermore is another spec mining coin. It's old about two days and on the mining pool stats.3 is the newest coin and uses Evera Propo algorithm. On their website we can find uh, wallet miner and uh, mainnet explorer so first we need to get our address we have two options for this coin we can get official wallet from evermore or this coin is listed on safe trade so you can make account on safe trade and get address from this exchange and mine directly on the exchange for mining i don't use mining address for exchanges and i will download a official wallet for evermore from the left side click on this where it says get evermore core it will open a github page and click here where it says assets and it will open links for windows and linux i am on windows and i will download windows file after you've downloaded the evermore wallet open your downloads folder and just extract the wallet open the wallet folder and you will find three other folders in this bin folder you have evermore qt.exe run this and this will start the wallet it will ask uh, windows firewall to add this wallet click allow access and now evermore wallet is started on the left side you have couple of options in the receive option you can get your mining address just click on this request payment and this is the address for Evermore. Copy this address and paste in the text file to be able to use later in the mining software. We need to find how we can mine and where we can mine this coin. On the mining pool stats.stream in the section new coins you will find Evermore. Click on that and it will open all pools for this coin i will use our plant pool for this video click on our plant and it will open their pool from the left side you can see this is the all coins you can mine on the our plant pool here is ever more and click on this and it will open evermore mining pool on this button connect you can find how you can start mining this coin scroll down and you will find miner config in this miner config for now for nvidia and amd it's only one miner wild drift multi this miner is only miner you can use for mining this ever a proposed algorithm. So in the miner config, click on this where it says choose miner and it will give you an option wildly multi. Click on that and now choose your operation system. Choose nearest stratum, Europe. 
In the section wallet address, you need to enter your wallet address. And in this section worker name, type your name. We can see now that there is a minor CLA example or minor script. This you can copy and make new batch file for Wildrig Multi. Wildrig Multi you can download if you go to Google and type Wildrig Multi. The first link is from the GitHub. Click on this link and it will open the latest version of the Wildrig Multi. You can download for Linux and Windows. Click on this link and it will download Wildrig Multi Miner. From Downloads folder extract this miner and when you open the miner folder you will see couple of prepared batch files. You can search, there is already prepared batch file where it says start evermore. Right click on this file and edit. Here you need just to change your mining address and you will be set for mining. Copy your mining address and paste in the batch file or you can copy from the R1 pool this together with the worker save this batch file and now we might we may try to start mining evermore coin Close the batch file, open Wildrig Multi folder and where it says start evermore, double click and miner will start mining. After miner is started, we need to wait a couple of minutes to find some shares on the pool to be able to see our progress and our mining results on the pool. So we will wait now a couple of minutes to get some shares on the pool. After a couple minutes of mining, Wildrick Multi is started finding shares on pool. So now we can check our progress on the pool. Go to the Artland, copy your mining address. and go here where it says my miner click on this and where it says enter address paste your wallet address and click set it will open your statistic page you can see that my worker is successfully registered on the pool and it is mining on the pool you can see on the right side that there is my hash rate my average hash rate, how many workers I have and how many coins I mined till now, till now. You can see that I already mined some coins, so we are successfully started mining ever more coin on the Artland pool. Some other info about Evermore you can find on their website, you can search through the links on their website or you can go on the telegram they have a telegram group so you can join here and find more about this project and you can follow them on the twitter this was another tutorial for another new coin another speculative coin and if you like this kind of videos go to my channel and check the other videos there is a couple other spec mining coins so you can check these videos too if you like the content i am providing for this kind of coins and for the mining please subscribe on my channel and support me thank you and see you next time bye bye
Welcome! In this video I will show you how to start mining Firo. Firo is another privacy coin and it can be mined with AMD cards and with NVIDIA cards. So let's get started. First we need to find wallet address. Wallet address for this Firo coin you can get from some of the exchanges where this coin is listed or from the official wallets for Firo. Exchanges where you can get Firo address, as you can see, you can get from Binance, from Coinex, from Gate.io, Max, Bitrex, Hotbit, TradeOgre. If you have account on some of these exchanges and you want to mine directly on the exchange, you can get address from any of these exchanges. If you want to download and install wallet back to the Firo site and where it says get Firo, now on the first link you have download wallets. Click on that and it will open download options for wallet. For this video I will download this Electrum wallet which is the fast and lightweight option. Click on this link and download will start. After you've downloaded this wallet, click on the downloaded file and follow desktop instruction. Click next, install. When the install is done, you can start your wallet from the start menu. Click on this button and it will open the Firo Electrum wallet. On the first screen you need to create a name for your wallet and click next. Now it says what kind of wallet do you want to create. Click on this standard wallet. Next. Do you want to create new seed or restore a wallet using an existing seed? Create a new seed. Click next. And now you have your wallet seed. Copy your wallet seed on some safe place. And after you've done copying, click next. Now in this box you need to enter your wallet seed. After you've entered your wallet seed, click next. Now you need to create password for your wallet. After you've created your password, click next. And now wallet will open. This is the Firo Electrum wallet for your desktop computer. On this button where it says receive, click and from the right side you have new address. Click on this and it will create a new wallet address. This address you can copy here or double click and copy to text file for later use in the mining software. After we are finished with the wallet address, now we can close the wallet and now we need to find where we can start mining this coin. Go to the mining pool stats.stream and in the search field type Firo and click on this icon. This will open all the mining pools for Firo coin. For this video I will use Wooly Pulley Pool. On the Wooly Pulley Pool, scroll down and you will find Firo Mining Pool. Click on this and now we are on the Firo Mining Pool from Wooly Pulley. From the right side, on the connection button, click and it will open configurator for mining Firo on the Wooly Pulley pool. First, select your region, then select your miner. For NVIDIA mining, you need to use T-Rex, for AMD mining, you need to use Team Red Miner. 
because of my computer I have NVIDIA card, I will use T-Rex Miner. Now in the third field it says enter your wallet address. Here you need to paste or type your wallet address. After you've entered your wallet address, now you need to create a worker name. And now we can see that our batch file is created. We can copy this and paste in new text file and create a new batch file. Or we can download this prepared batch file and paste into the T-Rex mining folder. You can download T-Rex miner from this link here. I've already downloaded so I will not download it again. I will just download this batch file and this will download my batch file for Wooly Pooly Pool. Open your downloads folder, open your mining folder and in this folder copy and paste the file you just downloaded from Wooly Pooly Pool. Now we can try start mining Firo on the Wooly Pooly Pool. In your mining folder, double click on the file you've just created on Wooly Pooly Pool. Double click and the miner will start. As you can see, miner is already started mining, so we need to wait a couple of minutes and we need to find a couple of shares to be able to see our progress on the Wooly Pooly mining pool. After a couple minutes of mining and after miner finds some shares on the pool, we can now check our progress. Copy your wallet address and go to the Wooly Pooly pool. In this box where it says wallet address or email, paste your wallet address and click on the search icon. And this is your mining starts for Wooly Pooly. As you can see, this is my worker, this is the current hash rate or the hash rate in the last 30 minutes and this is hash rate for last 3 hours and the hash rate in 24 hours. This will be updated with time how miner is working. To get to the right speed it needs at least couple hours of mining. Some additional information for Firo you can get from the Firo website or you can go to the Bitcoin Talk forum and here you can find also some useful information for Firo coin. You can go to Firo Twitter page and follow for news and informations. Also you can calculate your mining profitability on what to mine and you can find price and other useful stuff on the CoinMarketCap and the CoinGecko. This was the mining tutorial for Firo coin. If you like this kind of videos, go to my channel and please like and subscribe and support my channel. Thank you and see you next time. Bye bye. Hello and welcome in another tutorial video. In this video I want to show you how to start mining Neoxa. Neoxa is the uh, one of the most profitable coins in the past two weeks. And uh, if you go to what to mine uh, on each hardware I am the or Nvidia you will find that Neoxa is the one of the most profitable coins. Uh, first thing you need to do 
is to obtain a wallet address, you have uh, option to get address from some of the exchanges there is listed Neoxa or uh, you can download official wallet and use uh, that wallet address. I will show you how to uh, get the wallet address. Click on the downloads and you will find a different versions of wallets. Yeah, I will download uh, Windows GUI wallet. Click on this link. Unzip the wallet. Open the folder and click on this exe file. This will install your wallet. So use default uh, or custom folder. Okay. In the next field, it will say uh, generate or import passphrase. Because I am using this first time, I will generate new. This is my recovery phrase. You need to save this in some safe place. After you save your passphrase, you will need to enter again in the wallet. Paste and click on import. Now click on allow. Now you need to enter your password or create new. I will create new because I am doing this first time. Now it says wallet password was successfully set. OK. And you will need to wait some time to uh, update the blockchain uh, or you will uh, you may do on this hide button, click on hide and it will show you the wallet. Uh, to get your wallet address, click on receive. Uh, in the label I will enter mining and I will request payment and this is your wallet address. This button, copy address, you can copy. Anytime you want to see your address, just click on uh, on the first line and it will show your mining address. Now, after we uh, get our uh, wallet address, we need to find pool where we can mine uh, this coin. On the miningpoolstat.stream, just type in the search coins Neoxa. And click on that and it will open all available pools for this coin. The largest pool is the two miners. So I will use this pool for mining, click on the two miners and it will go to this site. Uh, here you can find how to start mining this coin. Click on how to start and now it says step one, create a wallet, download mining software. Uh, 
For NVIDIA GPUs is recommended G minor or T-Rex minor. For AMD GPUs is recommended NABA minor or Team Red minor. Because on this PC I have NVIDIA graphic card. I will download uh, G minor. Uh, just to find where to download. Now, where to download G minor? On the official GitHub page, click on that link and it will open GitHub. And from this link, you can download G minor. Open G minor, open your download folder first, and then extract uh, G minor. Uh, and in the prepared batch files, you will find mine neox.bat. Edit, right click on this file and edit. Uh, you see that uh, there is already set to miners pool. You need to change just your mining address. Go to uh, your wallet and copy your address and paste in the Neoxa patch file. Save it and now you will see that uh, the your batch file is prepared. If you want to uh, set up a worker name, uh, you will need in your batch file after the address. After the address, you will need to enter dot and your worker name. And again, click on save. Uh, now, close uh, this file. Open again. Click on, I will make a shortcut on my desktop. Oh no, open. Uh, open your mining folder and close everything. And uh, I will start uh, MSI after burner up to set up my graphic card or or I will try first without any kind of setup to start uh, the miner. Just uh, do not forget for any kind of miner software some uh, miners uh, need this option some don't but is uh, preferable to run a mining application as an administrator. So in show more properties, click properties and in compatibility click check this button, run this program as an administrator, apply and OK. So now you are ready to start mining Neoxa. Click double click on mine neox.bat you see that Microsoft Defender Antivirus found threat. Click on this, allow on device and start actions. So try again now and now you will see that mining is started. Duck verification passed. 
and it is start mining. You can close any of these files. So you will see that we are already mining. Uh, my speed is around 8.92 mega hashes. Uh, I will close this now and I will try to overclock my card a little bit. So close this and in the power uh, in the MSI after burner I will reduce power limit and I will uh, add 50 on core clock and 100 on memory clock and click on apply and now I will try again to my Neoxa Ok, the mining is started now and wait a couple of minutes to miner to start finding shells. We will wait a couple of minutes. You will see that my GPU usage is on 100% and the temperature is slowly rising. So, yes, we found a share and this is my speed. We do not get anything much from the overclocking, but uh, I am using 1060 NVIDIA, it's my old card with 6 GB just for purpose for these videos and it's, it is ok. So we are seeing that uh, we are successfully started mining Neoxa. I will close this now. Uh, additional information about Neoxa you can find on their website or uh, Coin Market Cup. You on Coin Market Cup, you are seeing uh, current price of uh, Neoxa. Or if you need to set up uh, simple mining on uh, to mine Neoxa, go to Hashrate. Don't know. Uh, click on the minor options. Choose your uh, graphic card. I will show you for AMD. Uh, click on this button here and find Neox. Click on the next step. Choose your miner for AMD couples. The best. Miner is Team Red Miner. Uh, select Pool. Click on the next step. Choose your location. Europe. Next step. Enter your wallet address. Copy from your wallet. Paste. And you are done. You have two lines for your miner. This first one is for the simple mining, and the second one is for Windows.
if you are using simple naming, paste this in your uh, group config file and if you are using Windows, paste this in your batch file for Team Red Miner. Uh, that is it guys. Thank you for watching and uh, if you like my videos, subscribe to my channel just to support me. Thank you again and see you in the next video. Bye bye. Welcome! In this video, I want to show you how to start mining Miao coin. This is a new coin and it uses Kapao algorithm, same as the Raven coin. It's getting attraction and from today is on number one on what to mine with default settings is one of the most profitable coins for mining. So, Yao coin is crypto project dedicated to help our pet friends. First thing you need to find for this coin is wallet address. You can download official wallet or you can use some of the addresses from these exchanges. Uh, you can use on Gravix. I see that on what to mine uh, price for Miao coin is from Gravix so you can use uh, that address from there to start mining Miao coin. I will uh, download official wallet. Here it says Miao Coin Wallets and I will download for Windows. It is downloading. Ok, I will open and I will extract this wallet and we have three files. We need to start this file which says Miao Coin Qt.exe. Click, double click on that file and now it's the same process as any other wallet. Use the full data directory, OK. Now it's starting the wallet. So first need, uh, you need to uh, generate new seed phrase. This will be your recovery phrase. Uh, for if something bad happens to the computer or to wallet, you need uh, to restore this phrase. To, to restore this wallet, you need this phrase. Now, click on generate and it will generate your recovery phrase. Copy this and pa paste in the text file, save it and keep it on the safe place. Now you need to enter this phrase into this line here, click on paste and click import and it will start on this Windows Defender if, you, if it shows this, just click allow access and now it says please enter a password to encrypt your wallet, enter password OK and click on Confirm. Now wallet password was successfully set. OK. Now it is starting to uh, synchronize with the network. You can click you can click on Hide button here and it will 
open the wallet so to see your Miao wallet address click on the receive button and in this label type any name you want I will tap mining and click on request payment when you click on request payment you will get your mining address this is your mining address copy this address and paste into text file for later use now you can close the wallet if you want to uh, synchronize leave it open uh, the wallet it will synchronize for a couple of minutes and uh, you will see your funds minus coins in this wallet when it's fully synchronized with the network I will close now this and now you need to find pool where you can mine this coin on mining pool stats dot stream click on the search quick coin meow and it will pop up so you see that there is plenty pools to start mining meow coin I will not use our plan because this pool has more than 50% of hash rate I will use the second uh, pool puppy miner click on that and it will open this pool in the start you will find information on how to start mining so there is a couple miners you can use if you using NVIDIA use T-Rex miner or G miner if you use uh, AMD use Nubba miner, Timred miner any of this miner will work because my graphic cards on this computer is NVIDIA I will use T-Rex miner uh, you can find T-Rex mi Miner if just type in Google T-Rex Miner and in the first link on GitHub you will find that the latest version is 0.26.6 uh, downloaded And when you download it, open the file, unzip it, and open the folder. Now you see all the prepared batch files from T-Rex Miner. Uh, for mining Miao coin, because it uses same uh, algorithm like Ravencoin, this batch file from Ravencoin you can copy, paste it here, and then you can rename it in Miao Mining. Right click on this file and edit. In this file, you need to enter options from pool and to enter your mining address so the pool address is this select and copy and paste into this line here you can delete this and now enter your wallet separated with dot and your worker copy your Miao address and enter instead of this default address from T-Rex paste and after the dot you enter your worker name Save it 
and now you are ready to start mining uh, Miao coin. I will open MSI Afterburner just to monitor my graphic card and now you can click on double click on this file double click and it will pop up the new window that is saying that mining is started as you can see mining process is already started so my graphic card is GeForce GTX 1060 6 gigabytes we will wait some time to find some share to be able to see our stats on the mining pool as you can see we already found that one share so now we will copy our mining address and paste it into the pool to uh, see our progress in this button my stats click and enter your wallet address paste it here and click on ok it will pop up worker this is my address test kire and it says accepted one rejected zero stale zero we are mining and uh, we are successfully connected on the pool the hash rate for my card is around 9 mega hashes and uh, as you know this mining algorithm uses uh, much more energy and power than other algorithms that is why my graphic card is already on the almost 70 uh, degrees Celsius but just for the, the purpose of this video uh, this is nothing bad ok I will close the miner now and the MSI after burner for additional information about this coin you can find on their website you can see uh, what kind of project is this or you can visit Bitcoin Talk thread uh, here you can find uh, also some information about this coin about price of this coin you can go to CoinMarketCap and type Oh, you cannot find on coin market cap coin market cap has not added this coin yes but you can find that on live coin watch on live coin watch uh, this coin is uh, added I think yes here it is the, on this site, on LiveCoin Watch, you can find information about price of the Miao coin. You can see that in 24 hours it's going up, down, up, down. In the past 7 of days it is ascending. So, uh, if you want to try to mine this coin, now you have the chance. Uh, I don't know any much about this pro project but if what to mine uh, added to their site it's probably something okay we will see how it will be in the future maybe it will be okay thank you for watching thank you for your time and uh, have a good day and if you want uh, 
something to ask, ask in the comments. I will try to answer any comments down there. And if you have some suggestion what to uh, for what coin to make some tutorial, also ask and type in the comments. And thank you for your time again. If you like my content, please subscribe, like the videos, and we will see you in the next video. Bye bye. Welcome to another tutorial video. In this video, I will show you how to start mining Ravencoin. Ravencoin is a proof of work coin uh, and uh, it is here for a, a long time. Uh, first thing you need is to uh, find Ravencoin wallet address on the web page of Ravencoin, ravencoin.org. Uh, on the first page, you will find these two buttons. One is says get your wallet. Click on this button and it will show a different version of wallets supported uh, for this coin. This is the original Ravencoin wallet and if you uh, don't like this wallet you may use uh, some uh, other wallet. It is supported by Atomic Wallet, by Exodus, Garda and many other wallets. If you want you can try some of uh, some different wallet. I, in, for purpose of this video, I will use standard Windows Wallet. Also, if you want to, uh, you don't want to install any kind of wallet, you can use uh, address from any exchange. Uh, many exchanges are supporting uh, Ravencoin. Uh, you can see this that. Uh, Ravencoin is listed on Binance, on uh, Gate.io, on uh, Max, on Wobi, KuCoin. Uh, so you can use address for any of uh, these exchanges. I will now download the Windows Wallet and start the file. It will say welcome to the Raven Core Raven Core 64 bit setup wizard. Next, uh, I will use uh, default folder install. Now it says completed. Next, and click on the run Raven Core. Use default data directory. OK. And it will start syncing with the network. Now you have uh, two options, create new wallet or recreate an existing wallet. I will create new wallet, accept. You can choose some different languages, English. Now it says generate new C words. Generate. Copy and this, uh, copy these seed words uh, on save place and uh, save it. You may enter an optional extension wallet to protect your seat. OK. Accept. And now we are ready to start the wallet. Now it says uh, that uh, 
it's syncing with the network you can find this click on the hide button you can hide this and uh, it will start syncing in uh, background as you may see it says connecting to peers and uh, it needs to uh, catch up with four years and 38 weeks behind so this is as i say uh, uh older coin and it has a pretty big blockchain it has many blocks to sync but uh, this is uh, something that the wallet can do in background you need to go to receive name your your uh, in the label put any kind of name i will start mining and click on the request payment and now you will get your wallet address copy this address and save it okay we are done with the wallet so next thing is to find pool where to mine this coin on the mining pool stats uh, you can type in raven and you will find raven coin as you can see it has plenty of pools to choose for the purpose of this video i will choose two miners two miners is the largest pool uh, for raven coin and it also uh, you may mine raven coin and get paid in bitcoin if you don't want uh, raven coins so you have two options to mine and get raven coin or you can mine raven coin and get bitcoin click on how to start and you will see a different options for uh, different regions for Raven coin uh, for IMD uh, you need to use team red miner uh, for all uh, low miner uh, for uh, Nvidia uh, you may use G miner and T-Rex I will uh, use uh, I don't know, maybe T-Rex for this video. Uh, on Google, type T-Rex Miner and the first link, click on the first link and you can download from GitHub. Choose this file for Windows. wait for the download now uh, open this file extract it okay once you extracted this file go to your download folder and oh, go to your download folder i will extract it again uh because in the t-rex folder okay now when you open t-rex folder you will find find already prepared batch files so uh, you need to find raven here is raven ravana to miners dot bat edit this file right click on the file and click on edit and now you will see options you need to change here just your wallet address and the rig name uh, find your wallet address copy and paste in the batch file paste and rename your worker name okay save it 
save and now you are ready to start mining Ravencoin. You may close this batch file and now you need to double click on the uh, on this batch file. I will start uh, MSI after burner. Okay, and now double click on the your batch file. And now it is start mining Ryan Queen. It said generating duck three point five seven gigabytes. You can mine Raven coin with uh, four gigabyte cards, six gigabyte cards, eight gigabyte cards, and greater. You cannot mine uh, Raven coin uh, with two gigabyte cards. As you can see, the T Rex miner is started mining. We will wait to find some shell. Okay, as you can see, I am getting 9.02 mega hashes for my graphic card. Uh, my graphic card is 1060, 6 gigabyte. Gigabyte GTX 1060, 6 gigabyte. It will take some time with one just one card to find some shell. Okay, I will try to a little bit overclock. Now I get one share. Here it is. It says that I am getting shares. I will try to uh, overclock it a little bit to see if I get some improvement on. So this card can do around 9 mega hashes per second. You may try now go to the uh, to miners pool and where it says your wallet address, paste your wallet address. and search it to see your results okay i see that my uh, test worker is on the pool and it is mining i am getting shares i'll test total two shares two valid shares so everything is okay this is how you start mining Ravencoin on two miners pool. For additional information, you can uh, go to what to mine to see what is your uh, profits on this card. Now, if I enter nine mega hashes and around a hundred and I don't know thirty watts for this card. Click on calculate and you will get that uh, you will uh, mine around two coins. I will mine around two coins a day, which is 0 0.08 uh, dollars or profits are in minus right now. We know how the situation is with the with all coins now. For additional information, go to coin market cap. Type Raven coin and you will find uh, current price, uh, website, communities, uh, markets, as you can see, Binance, Gate.io, Wobi, KuCoin, Bitrex, uh, any larger uh, 
exchange out there, yes, Ravencoin on their side. 